All right, new day now. We have uh, scribed out our mark designs down through here, left enough room for the carpet. Laid these boards up across here. Just did that side too, obviously. Didn't have enough cardboard, so I had to piece some together with hot glue. But anyway, we hot glued the uh, boards also onto here. Plenty uh, cool enough now. And we got our plywood out there, so it is time to bring it on out there and mark out our little design here. We'll transfer it over to that plywood and get to doing some cutting. Here it is, all marked off on our plywood, getting ready to lay some skill saw action down on it. It's kind of rough, you know, because of the sides of the cardboard, but uh, we're just going to pretty much follow the, the gist of the line there all the way down the way the, uh, the curve goes. And the front, that's pretty dang straight, and the back was too, so I'll save a little wood and put it right to the end of it. Well, let's get the skill saw crunk up. Well, here she is all cut out. Let me show this over here before I forget. We got a uh, couple of screws right here that's sticking up, and that's going to screw with us for a little bit. And we got a couple of screws over here that's sticking up that's going to screw with us. So I just took a carpenter's pencil, marked the top of the screws, put the plywood down where it fit, tapped it on top a couple of times, and it gave us these little markings here. These two here, and these two here. Just going to take this here, drill out for the screws just a little bit. Just nibble in the wood some. Then we're going to lay it back on. Okay, it was, let me move it out a little bit and show you. It was sticking up kind of like that, but since we, let me get it straight, there we go. Since we got those two little, uh, bits done up right there it's very very flush with the wood like we want and now it sets down all the way well as soon as I screw it down either way it will set down all the way flusher now uh, of course that's not counting for the carpet that's going to be going under you know around it and underneath it but uh, still that carpet you know it'll still help lay down in it so anyway it's working out on both sides it's flush uh, go ahead, I think now it's time to go ahead and stick our, uh, cut our hatches out. Stick a little pin up underneath here and sketch around where their hatches are going to be and go ahead and cut them out with a sawzall. We got the hatch cut out and sitting down in here and all. Uh, just throw it in here for right now and even up, you know, any which way, the uh, deck. But the hatch is cut out. Now we're going to cut it out for the carpet and test it this time with carpet. I got some scrap piece out. Uh, we got our marks on here. Down the sides here. We're going to go ahead and uh, cut them out, set it in there and test it with two pieces of carpet. Okay, it has been tested with carpet. We had to, uh, we had to cut off three sixteenths off of it and that wasn't enough so I cut off another sixteenths. It has been tested with a carpet. Now that it's all falling out. Anyway, I had it up in here at one point and it was tested with it. Got it all unraveling going under itself. What a butthole. Just because I'm trying to show something. Okay. Tested. Now we can take this rascal on out of there. Get out of there. Move all this junk carpet out of there. Take out this little piece here, our divider, and we can reach under there now and access the back hatch after we re-straighten up our board here. I like to straighten it up and clamp it, make sure nothing's gonna move, clamp it on that side. Then we can reach under there and sketch out for our back hatch. Well, it's starting to come together. Here is the front hatch in here. Now the only way to get it up right now is to do like so. Have not cut it out for the carpet cutting yet. Fixing to go do that though because uh, we don't want to have to stall around like we did last time there on that other boat waiting a whole friggin week for the polyurethane after we had to recut it. So I'm going to go ahead and measure this. A uh, quarter inch is what needs to come off the uh, side and the front. 
should get her ready for the carpet. All right, we have our second hatch in here now, and I just got through carpet testing. Uh, working pretty good. Oh, now my carpet has slippied out. But anyway, I did test it. Working pretty good. Now, what is it time for? Should we go ahead and take this front out there and uh, kind of dark now, darkish? Might want to uh, start polyurethane in this thing as soon as the uh, morning time comes there and the dew gets settled. Yeah, we may want to start just polying this before we get to the uh, middle here. I'm still uh, figuring in on the middle part here. I just got old pedestal setting up on top of here right now just messing around while I was uh, well earlier before I did much else uh, let's see though I should probably take these woods oh yeah I cut out the tops for these here I should probably go ahead and cut out the fronts and the bottoms and all for them too but uh one thing at a time oh that's one thing we need to do dur. we need to do the front for this yeah well we got this uh well we got this hatch here where i can take it off and clamp this down yeah take this off i can put a clamp in here to clamp this side down and that side down get it where it ain't so wingy then i can get decent measurements and we can get some uh probably gonna end up using our template again get a little cardboard template on the sides for that there I think would be for the bestest. Yeah. And I better save that for tomorrow too because it's already getting late. We'll get started back on it in the morning. We got the front storage, I guess you could call it face in right here, uh, which was no easy task. That's what all these boards are going up here for and the boards on top. You have to kind of mimic that the deck is uh, already been screwed down so it's not got any bows in it or anything so to cut this exact then we had to go back and cut it for the carpet I did not forget I left some little bitty uh, edge on it over here so the carpet could get around it and on the other side and I have carpet tested it so that will avoid any unnecessary stupidity now once we got that done, we could go ahead and polyurethane then all of those front pieces. Or we could uh, cut a little bit more wood because, you know, we still got it for the seats here we need to do and for the, uh, for the floor and uh, you name it. And for the raised deck and the front floor up there. And, of course, the front pieces to these little uh, drink holders or storage uh, pouches or whatever we want to make with them yet. Uh, gonna see here. We had our, uh, started to do the floor and decided to do, to start doing the middle elevated floor. We had it in there and I decided to go ahead and put just a couple of holding screws in it. Just on each of the braces, one on each one or so. Just to bring it out here, now I can, uh, haven't got to fight it inside the boat. I can put a freaking level on it and straighten it up with the square here and do it correctly out here out of the boat because inside was a bit of a fight so let's get some leveling on this and some squaring <laughs> 